so welcome back my name is Paul I'll take you through how to feed your P9 details in your Excel phone so this is simple this is your P9 so let me zoom it so that I'll be able to see it yeah So you start by typing your pin, type your pin there, so ensure the pin is correct, type a correct pin, so enter the dates, generally the financial year for one of and it is January to December so it's first January to December 31st December and you must make sure it's an original return not an amended amended is only if you already filed the original return that's when you use an amended return so then you go next here you feed the employers your your income details. You start by your employer's pin. It is usually provided in your P9 form. The name of the company. So check it correctly. So you import it. The pin of the employer starts in their P, then for individual is an A. And you enter the name of the for sake we shall use ABC company. Then the gross pin as per your P9. This is the basic salary in your P9. So you take your P9, here's your basic salary. It's 419. 37 and you will check your benefits and allowances so in our pin we don't have benefits all allowances so they are zero so just put zero uh, pension if in excess of 300 so that means pension is relieved if not less than if not more than 300,000 it's not taxable but above 300 it's taxable so you enter the amount that is above 300,000 for a sick it's not you 300 so you use you put zero okay you can go next now here we input the pay deducted so we start by the pin of the employer then the name the employer make sure it's similar with the one that used the other side the other side then taxable salary this is the chargeable pay in your p9 so check your p9 chargeable pay the changeable pin it's also highlighted here below below the the table of your p9 okay so you put the, the amount then from there is the tax payable is the tax charged before relief tax charge before relief so you must note note of the opening so you call the tax charged in your opinion it's in the tax charged before relief so then amount of tax this is the pay the amount of pay remitted to carry by your employer actually the last column in your p9 yeah so put that the pay then 
Now the difference should be the personal relief. So if it's not personal relief, you realize that your P9 has an error. Then these the credits, you don't have, you don't have to feed that unless you had made payment earlier. So then your pension, you put the actual pension in your tax computation tab, you put the actual pension. So this is the actual pension. So you put that as per your P9. So our P9 is 12960. So then the personal relief. Personal relief currently is 16896. So you put your personal relief there. Then now you're almost done. So the other if in case you head up with the holding you can put there. But if you don't then I think we are done for our sake we didn't have our withholding so we are done but when it's negative you have to put the bank details so our case is negative so we put bank details you can use uh, you don't have to put your bank you can use your uh, M-Pesa number you just use M payment mobile payment then the branch branch is your uh, M-Pesa, Airtel, whichever then the city of yes Kenya, Nairobi then account holder's name is the name of your the the, 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 the person the taxpayer that is the account holder's name put those bank details they'll bring an error if they are okay then there'll be no error you notice that so now upload so from there if after validating then you you check where the, the nini has gone When you validate the, the the file turns to a zipped folder, a zipped folder. That's the form that you upload, the zipped file. That's what you upload in the iTax account. So after validating, it will form a zipped file. Then that zipped file, before saving, you ensure you you you, you note where the the, the name is that when you go to iTax you just upload easily you don't have to look for it where it is just not well so now the lady is ready for uploading so you click yes you click so subscribe below to get more tutorials thank you